Okay, so today, for some reason, all of my settings are a lot better now. It literally doesn't make any sense. My game is running smoothly. The only thing I adjusted today is the particle quality effects. I put these all up to high right here, and I instantly dropped to like 130 FPS on Shoot House. I don't understand this game. So Call of Duty might be dying, but there are two things I want to talk about today. The first one being optic scum so for those that do not know optic scum is a member of optic gaming he was on the competitive team for that team um he's been playing competitive call of duty for probably 14 years now i want to say and uh he finally announced today that he was retiring today is january 17th man and i just want to say as a guy who got heavily into competitive call of duty back in like 2017 2016 2017 it basically started when optic gaming won worlds that year i think that was the first ever call of duty event that i had solved just on twitch that was my first like like bump into esports next to Cloud9 winning the Boston Major in CSGO. A couple of different things just kind of, you know, started. and started my way into this world, you know? So here I am a few years later. Now I'm video editing for teams, getting involved in the esports world. I've coached a team before. And uh, it's honestly just incredible, man. I'm really happy for Skump, but it was kind of sad watching his, like, you know, uh, his uh, retirement video, so to speak. And I uh, just want to say, man, shout out to Optic Skump. I don't know how much that's going to mean coming from, you know, me, obviously. I don't even doubt, I, you know. Now he's gonna see this video, but it's just kind of crazy, man. It's just kind of crazy where the world takes you now, and uh, it makes sense why he retired. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, and this is why I'm gonna get into the COD dying thing a little bit. Modern Warfare 2 is not a good Call of Duty. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but the game just feels incomplete. Warzone is very weird and buggy and slow and sluggish. Nothing about the game just feels like ultra enticing you know, to, to, to play. There's just not enough to do in the game. I think truly, if we had legitimately better maps, that would make a world of a difference. But the game is just, for what it's worth, not in a great state right now. You know, people are talking about the game's dying, the Steam player account is dropping. And obviously while the Steam player account does not dictate a single thing on paper, because the majority of Call of Duty players are on console, no matter how you want to look at it. It is kind of jarring to see how much of a difference this game is, right? It, like, like the state this game is in compared to Warzone, right? Now, I think the original Warzone. And I, I just don't know what they're going to do about it, man. They haven't really communicated much. They haven't really said what they're going to be doing for all the updates. The next season is going to be delayed, apparently, by a few weeks. And it just feels like the game has nothing. It feels like it has absolutely nothing right now. And I hate saying that because I do have fun on this COD periodically. But for the most part, it really feels like there's nothing to do with this game. And what we do have to do is a buggy, broken mess after the time you know especially on warzone i don't know how people are enjoying that game mode that warzone is not good right now i was one of the people that was kind of happy to see sly canceling go away i wasn't the biggest fan of it and i don't think it really should return but that game just feels like you're running in mud you know what i'm saying I was going to be so mad if I didn't get that kill. Warzone 2 feels like you're running in mud. And honestly, you know, everybody's going to be different. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. I just don't think that is really worth the time investment right now. It just doesn't seem like it is. It's inconsistent. The TTK is so low. You just die instantly. Sometimes you don't die. Sometimes you just magically do not kill people to a point where you got people believing in skill-based damage, skill-based ping, all of this crazy shit. I'm kind of over the whole BR era. I was always a traditional multiplayer kind of guy. And uh, that's probably how I'll always be. Never been a big BR guy. But I did enjoy playing Warzone 1. It had nothing to really do with the movement, but the game just felt good. Personally, it feels like they took a lot of what made that game good and just kind of got rid of it, you know? Like, obviously they got to innovate, make the game different, you know, it, you know, make it a little bit different. But it just seems like they took design changes that really made the game what it is. And we're just kind of like, yeah, let's just change this for the sake of changing it, you know? It's just like how they change perks in the game where you can't use Dead Silence's perk for literally no reason or some of the other perks that are now field upgrades. It's like, I'm all for innovation, but none of these ideas literally make sense. Like, we're taking away features, you know? Like, Hardcore or Tier 1 or whatever now, not only did it get a name change, oh my god. They took away the kill feed, they took away medals popping up in it. It's like, making design changes that just fundamentally don't make sense. Like, it's not new content. It's not new, it's not innovative to take away things that have been a staple in COD. Like, even the Jetpack COD still had a lot of things working in them. Like, traditional CODs, like, perks were working, you had Dead Silence. You know, but they added new perks to compensate for the fact that it's a jetpack game, you know? So it, it, it's like, I'm all for innovation, but don't take away the basic features that have made Call of Duty Call of Duty. That just doesn't make sense to me. And I guess you could argue in the case of jetpacks, the one thing they did take away was that one dimensional part of Call of Duty where you just run in a straight line and charge toward people, but now you can, you know, fly over them. I can see that being a bit of a takeaway, I guess, but you still have the option to play jetpack gods kind of traditional. You believe me, there are plenty of people who did not use their jetpacking efficiently in the jetpack gods, no matter how you look at it. I'm not a game designer. So I can't even fathom what goes into all this stuff. I just feel like, like there's just so many backwards decisions that are being made, you know? Like, I actually, let me preface, uh, preface and say this. 
I enjoyed Modern Warfare 2. I actually like this game a lot, but it just feels like there are some really weird design choices with the game. You know what I'm saying? Say Warzone 2. I fundamentally on paper kind of like Warzone 2. I kind of like the backpacking system, but there are just some bizarre choices they made. I don't want side canceling back, but the game still feels way too sluggish. And I understand that it's probably trying to go for a more traditional feel. But I think when you go with three, four, maybe even five years of faster paced movement, just to completely neuter the faster place play style, but promote and say that there are multiple play styles, just kind of feels like a middle finger to some people, you know? Like the camping play style has never really changed for Call of Duty, but it's been buffed in this game pretty dramatically. There's a lot of camping you can do in this Call of Duty, no matter how you look at it. You got drill charges to kind of handle it, sure. They kind of nerfed all the other play styles, you know what I'm saying? Like it just feels like it's, the game is just so unbelievably unforgiving for even trying to be more than just your typical sit in a hole, sit still kind of guy, you know? And some people are gonna say, you know, just adapt. You gotta change up your play style. Like I said, the, the COD devs talk about how there are multiple play styles, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm fine if they want to force people to all play one play style that's entirely different but if you just say like you've got options but you really don't it feels kind of weird you know it feels like you're being lied to like, i do not feel comfortable as a guy who likes moving fast i don't feel comfortable doing that in wars at all like, i'm a smart guy i know how to make decisions and take my time with things but it just feels like they just dial back on it a little too hard with uh mw or warzone 2.0 whatever they dial back on it a little too hard the game just feels weird. I, I think there needs to be more in the game to actually do. And I'm not saying this from the perspective of a guy who likes to just mm, 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 why, why, and you know, slide cancel, slide cancel. I'm not that kind of guy. I was in Warzone 1, but I understand the changes in Warzone 2, so I'm, I'm not butthurt about losing slide cancel. Like, I really am not. I just want to say that now because I know a lot of people who can play, and there are also a lot of people who like that advanced movement stuff. I enjoyed it in the game that it was in, but if it's not in this one, it's whatever. But the current existing movement system and the way this game plays overall just doesn't feel good either. That makes sense. You know, I'm trying to have a really neutral opinion on it. It just doesn't feel good for what it's worth. I still find my ways to have fun in the game. Like, obviously I will. But the lack of content on top of the fact that we're getting a remake of a Vanguard map that was a remake of a World at War map for the next season, which is also apparently being delayed. And the game still has a shit ton of issues with it from the weird TTK and Warzone and... The fact that perks don't work in Modern Warfare 2, a good chunk of them don't work. Battle Harden doesn't work. The 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 the, the anti-explosive flag jacket perk barely works. So many things just don't work in the game. You know what I'm saying? I hate complaining. I really do. I really honestly hate people who bitch. I really do. Because I feel like I'm one of those people right now. But I enjoy this game to such a high extent that I want to see it be good. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand why there's a lack of communication on what they're changing. They've got this very specific way they want to do things that people have publicly said they do not like. Like, you know, obviously, there are always going to be differing opinions on things. But if the majority of your gaming community is like, hey, we don't really like this. You can't just ignore it and be like, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we want you to play this certain way whether you like it or not suck it i mean i guess you could that's basically what they're doing they, they really don't give a fuck like that's what they want to do that by all means they should do to stop them but to say you're listening to community feedback you're listening to the player base and then you kind of don't you know where i'm getting at is stop making stop saying all this shit stop saying you're listening to the player base stop saying you're doing all this for the community but then you, you dial back on that and don't literally do anything of what the you know people are talking about i don't know man like you know granted there are a lot of people who say they want side canceling back and i think that's good that's that's gone personally and my hands were getting torched slide cancel slide cancel it got very boring repetitive over time but then there are also normal logical people like me who just want a balanced perk system and red dots on the mini map like shit that's been in cod for 20 years that it isn't a feature it isn't innovative to take that shit away no matter how you look at it and before somebody tells me well jay you just gotta learn how to use your senses i've been doing that shit since i've been playing call of duty it's not hard to use your senses quote unquote with call of duty i've been doing that shit since i've been playing cod and uh, i just i just feel weird about this game i enjoy it i really do for all the hype that it had and everything around it it feels like it's just lacking really hard and i keep playing games i enjoy the game but it doesn't mean we can't you know acknowledge the faults at least for the most part i want the game to at least work that's where i'm getting at you know it feels like we're redoing the same shit every single year in terms of like what's broken in the game you know vanguard launches half of the shit doesn't work in that cold war launches for the most part is functional modern warfare 2019 launches a lot of the perks and shit don't work there's a shit ton of bugs and that that have returned in this game i don't know it's like why are we repeating the same cycle of mistakes over and over you know now again i'm no developer i can't speak on what it's like to be a developer for a big game like this by all means i completely understand that but i just don't like when people make promises that they're going to do a thing and then they don't do that 
or they just straight up don't communicate with you at all. Like one of the most recent posts that Infinity More made about the changes that they had come to the game, they turned the comments off because they know for a fact that people weren't going to be happy with having a couple of minor fixes and some shit in the store getting fixed. Nobody cares about the, the, the COD point store. You know what I'm saying? People are going to love this game. Some people are going to hate it. I'm getting in the middle ground where I like 70% love it. 30% I wish some of the things could change about it. I have a neutral opinion on it, man. I don't think the game is perfect and I don't expect it to be perfect. But when we take away fundamentals for no reason and call it innovation, that's just confusing to me, you know? If you add new mechanics, new perks, new systems, that that's, that's different, you know? Some, some of the shit just might be broken or whatever that's fine like overpowered but to take away features like your red dots or your mini map don't call it dot chasing whatever i use i personally use the mini map just to know where the combat is so i have an understanding of what the hell is going on i use that in tandem with sound footsteps all that shit i use all of that in tandem it just felt like, like it, it just feels weird taking away features that have been a fundamental part it's not a new feature to take away a feature is where i'm getting it's not innovative in my opinion in my opinion in my personal opinion it's not innovative at all it's like taking away headbutting in soccer because they want you to come up with a new method to hit the ball when it's falling down that's just like you don't do that <laughs> you know it's a part of the game that's always a part of the game but they add new things to make the game more fun and different you know a lot of the problems of this game don't just affect the content creators there are a lot of casual players out there that do not like a lot of decisions being made in this game either we got this game for two years i hope they actually just really take a step back and think like man people are really having a bit of a hard time with this game like let, let, let's really think about our decision making and i doubt they will because you know at the end of the day who am i to them i'm nobody just like how all these other people out here playing are nobody's to them shout out to optics um, happy for his retirement sad his uh, retirement video had me in tears uh had a lot of people in tears there should be a reaction video coming from me soon for that it was um it was very emotional we've had for four years straight now i see every member from the optic dynasty has retired one year after the other karma in modern warfare 2019 formal in cold war crim6 in vanguard and now we got scum Playster is the only player left from the old guard that's still in competitive call of duty and it's kind of sad really you know obviously players are going to get older people are going to change but the game's being worse and worse and worse every single year does not help cold war is probably the most competitive crowd we've had in the last four years without a doubt then we have vanguard Modern Warfare 2019 was fun for content and streaming and shit i would not deny that that game was actually a lot of fun for streaming and playing with friends and stuff but competitively that game was a doozy that was a doozy man i'm tired got my car fixed though